Hi, I'm Courtney. In this video, we're going to be exploring maps through scale. So we're going to make a grid painting of a map using different squares to make a full grid. But this is the non-messy version, so we're going to show you how to do the activity without getting too messy. So first of all, we need to find a map that you're going to use as your frame of reference, as your big map. I have a world map. Obviously, I'm not going to try and do the whole map. I'm going to pick a continent and I'm going to do South America. So what you need to do is draw the rough shape of South America onto grid squares. So I've just drawn the shape of the top left hand corner of South America and I've just drawn TL at the top so we know that it's the top left of the full grid square. So what you'll need to do this activity is one clear sealable bag and a range of paint colours. The first thing you need to do is put the paint in blobs on your grid square. So I'm going to first do blue for the C. And I'm going to do a bit of green for this side because it links to the other square. And then a blob of orange. Now really carefully, I'm going to put my grid square in the bag. Try not to smudge anything. And then seal it up. If you want to be extra safe, you can always put a bit of gaffer tape or sellotape over the seal just to make sure nothing spills out. And then, with your Sensory Explorer, you can squidge the colours to spread the paint around the grid square, making the shapes of South America. So I'm going to squidge it just now. Spread your finger to move the paint along the bag, but try and stay within the vague shape you want. So once you're done, we now have the careful task of taking it out of the bag without smudging the paint. So unseal it. You might need a second pair of hands for this. Lovely, that's looking really good. So pop it in the right grid square and then you can piece together the rest of your map using your other grid squares. And that bit can be really exciting because you can let your sensory explorers figure out where their piece goes, either using the numbers and letters that you wrote on the corner or by just looking at the shape of whatever map you're trying to make. We'd love to see how you get on at home, so do share any photos with us on social media. Hashtag Sensory Adventures so we can see them. And of course, tune into our Sensory Sound music videos just to make the experience a bit more theatrical while you're exploring at home. You can also sign up to be one of our Sensory Explorers via our website and you'll get different resources, top tips and of course you'll be the first people to hear when the new videos are released. Have fun exploring your maps and see you again next time. Bye!